Welcome back. How often have you heard someone say Muslim women don't have any rights? They're not meant to be active members in a given society. I'm sure you've heard it more than enough times, Muslim or not. Well, today we're about to bring the story of Muslim women who are defying these stereotypical images in hopes of conveying the true beauty of Islam and what it really means to be a Muslim woman. Joining me is Fasiha Khan to speak to us about an all-women's conference being held here in Toronto, Ontario. Fasiha is a lawyer by profession and the program lead for the conference, Being Me. She'll tell us about her role and the work she does, and most importantly, empowerment of young Muslim women. Welcome to the show, Fasiha. Thank you for having me. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, who you are, how you got involved in Being Me? I am, as you mentioned, a lawyer by profession. I'm an American expat, been here in a few years. Uh, I'm in the process of getting licensed in Ontario, and most recently, I had a son. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. How do you find time being a lawyer, being <laughs> a mother, and being me? So tell us a little bit about that and yeah. about being me, how you got involved. Sure. Uh, well, how I got involved being me is basically the community that I joined in, in the Brampton, Saga area. I met a few sisters in the Halakha, and a lot of them were involved in Mercy Mission, the, our parent, or being me's parent organization. They do a lot of great work, and so I started getting active in that because I was really drawn to the different services that they offered. And then I heard about Being Me that way. Um, so what is what it, what is Being Me? Is it a it's a conference that's held? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. So Being Me, uh, Me stands for Muslim Empowered. Uh, Being Me is more than a conference. It is the event. It culminates in a conference, but we are working towards being a global movement of empowering women. So Being Me exists around the world right now. We've had conferences in Canada alone, Vancouver, Calgary, and Toronto. We've had it in England, we've had it in Australia and Malaysia. Wow. And really the purpose of Being Me is multifold. It is education for women, it is empowerment, it is sisterhood, and is really providing a platform for women to discuss issues that are important to them, relevant to them. So you mentioned that it's a women's only conference, That's correct? Right. So when you're talking about empowerment, the mm. flip conversation could be that you know, this uh, conversation of empowerment needs to happen with the broader community, yeah. men and women. Yeah. So what's the rationale of having a women's only conference? How do you think that speaks to some of the challenges Muslim women are facing? Right, so I think that when we look at Islamic conferences um, that currently exist, not many women headline a conference or they're, they're not, uh, they're disproportionate to the number of men that are speaking. So what Being Me is striving to do is really give a platform for promoting female scholarship, really putting them out there in the hopes that once they are exposed at this large level, because our conferences are thousand women strong, they are given the platform to then be exposed to other conferences as well. Um, and also, it's not just about, um, uh, I, un uh, I understand that on the flip side, it's why, it, why aren't they doing it? That's a good question for some organizations. Why aren't they putting them out there? But for us, what we're doing is we're trying to create those, that leadership, we're trying to create and build women to have the confidence, to have the knowledge so they can go out and be productive members of society, really contribute in what interests them. So what are some examples of speakers that you have lined up for this year? So, Michelle, we have a majority of female lineup. We have um, Ustada Tamia Zubair, who is um, an Al Huda Institute instructor. She is the daughter of Farhad Hashmi, and her specialty is Quran, Tafsir, Islamic studies. Al Huda Institute for our uh, non Muslim viewers, can you tell us a little bit? It's a school or? Uh, it's a learning institution. It's uh, both a school and an intensive uh, learning institution to study both uh, Islamic studies, uh, the exegesis of the Quran, things like that. Okay. So religious studies basically institute. We have Hala Benani, who is a clinical psychologist. We have uh, Shahina Siddiqui, who is a par paraprofessional social worker who's done amazing work in her community, ha uh, working on domestic violence and sexual abuse and things like that, just bringing that to the forefront in the Muslim community. We have um, Jamila Kareem, Dr. Jamila Kareem is a PhD in Islamic studies. Wow. Um, so we have a formidable lineup of women who have accomplished many different things and they have a lot to offer on a range of topics. So on the website it says that you know the conference will serve as a forum to address daily lives and some of the challenges Muslim women face. So yeah. obviously you have a, just from hearing you, you have a wide variation of speakers. You have psychologists, mm -hmm. you have religious leaders. How mm -hmm. do you find that this, uh, I guess these arrangement of speakers and the conference itself is helping address some of the yeah. challenges Muslim women face in light of you know a lot of the Islamophobia uh, 
incidences that are occurring. Right. So one of the aims that the conference has is to address issues that women are facing across the board in Canada, um, and specifically in our area. So our theme this year is Quran Compass to Compassion. It has two dual purposes. One is to focus on the Quran being a living, breathing document that we can go to as a reference for real issues that we have today. It's not there for, you know, to be gathering dust on our shelves or for a religious ceremony, but really to connect with it on a deeper level. The other component, the uh, Compass to Compassion aspect, is to find compassion towards others in various issues and using the Quran as a reference. So going back to your question, different issues that we're addressing this year is, is things like, are things like mental illness, uh, racism, domestic violence, um, anxiety and depression, uh, a lot of different issues that women deal with, and, and including struggles, uh, like uh, juggling juggling your life, all the things, one of the things you asked me is how do you do it all? You know, one of the things I'm hoping to learn at this conference is how do you balance all these different things? So we wanted to make it relevant. We want the conference to be really addressing things that women struggle with and are, are facing. So uh, one other question about the target audience. You mm -hmm. mentioned it's, is it, it's for Muslim women, but mm -hmm. obviously from the range of the issues that you're talking, yeah. it sounds like it could appeal to anyone. So yeah. what's the, uh, you know, is this something that you're targeting specifically for Muslim women or is it for women in general? No, our target is actually women, all women. The issues that we've mentioned here are relevant and you know, can apply to many people. We do give a context of an Islamic perspective for the Muslim women, you know, women audience, but I think that people of all different backgrounds can benefit for sure. The, the real one of the prime you know, purposes of being me is to really create sisterhood, foster sisterhood. And I don't see any other conference that really does that in the sense that you don't get that feeling that you get at this conference where you see women are all here together, one day, one purpose, to learn and to bond with one another. When you're, it's easier to have a conversation with people at the conference in the line next to you, seating next to you, when you know that we're here together, we have a commonality of being women. And they share stories and their struggles and they really get inspired from many different things that they hear from one another. We have so many stories of women who are inspired to start their own businesses, who have taken the skills of either participating in Being Me as a worker or just learning from our workshops to then go ahead and um, go on and, and really uh, have these skill sets or develop these skill sets to do other things outside, which is one of our goals. And we're really happy to see that product. Well, you've accomplished one of your goals because I'm very inspired. <laughs> so <laughs> what does someone, where can someone go to get more information about the conference, get yeah. tickets? Uh, okay, so our tickets right now um, can be s are sold either at different um, massage and masjids in the GTA location by t sale agents, or you can go online to Toronto or to.being-me.org. Perfect. Thank <laughs> you very much for your time. Thank you for having me.